Hey guys, welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we are going to learn about arguments in Python function and the arguments that we'll discuss is the positional argument, keyword argument, required and optional arguments. So I've prepared these uh, lists that I'll be covering in this particular tutorial. Let me quickly copy it and create a new Python file. And I'll say arguments in Python. I'll paste everything here comment it out okay so there there is a lot of confusion between uh, the arguments and parameters in the programming languages so i want to clarify what is the difference between the parameters and the arguments first and then we'll cover all these arguments that i have pasted in my screen we'll understand basically what exactly all these arguments are in much much detail all right so say for example when we were learning the functions in python so functions we used to define with the keyword def and say for example i want to subtract two numbers so i'll say sub demo so i'll give a name of the function and within this function say for example i want to subtract two values okay so i'll, I'll pass two parameters there okay so say for example x comma y right and then sorry colon here okay and then return x minus y okay very simple function what it's doing is it is it will get two arguments so whenever you call this function you need to provide two arguments and then it will return the difference of the arguments that you have provided here okay now when what is the difference between the parameter and arguments many times you will be using them interchangeably okay but there is a fine difference there so when you are defining a function, right, this sub demo function has X and Y. So whatever you are providing here when you are defining the function is known as parameter. Okay. Now when I call this particular function, so for example, I call sub underscore demo and I pass the values within this particular function when I call. Now these values 8 and 4 are the arguments. Okay, so that's the difference between the parameter and the arguments. Parameter, you provide the keywords or whatever values yet there. So characters X and Y, those values when you are defining the function are known as parameters. When you're calling the function and then providing the actual numbers or the values within the called function, those values are known as arguments and now when we talk about positional arguments and keyword arguments this is what we are going to understand in this particular tutorial now if i run this particular program it will give me the difference right so at the moment it's not giving any difference because it is returning the difference but i, have, I haven't printed anything on the console right so i have to basically either get it into some variable say for example not x i'll say z okay so i'll get it in the variable and I'll print that particular variable. Now I'll be able to see that particular difference value on my console. So now four is visible on the console, okay? Now, when we talk about the positional argument, so positional arguments are the arguments that you have provided here. So now this particular function sub demo has accepts two values. It, is, it has two parameters. And when you call this particular function, you provide the two values here, right? So eight and four. Now, when we talk about positional arguments, eight is will go into the position of X and then four will go into the position of Y. And that is why they are known as positional arguments. OK, if I change the position of the numbers, right, then we'll see the difference. OK, so now if I change X to four, so now four will go to X and eight will go to Y. And if I run this, now you will see the outcome is minus four and not four okay so that's what positional arguments are okay they are dependent on the position that they occur on the function that is being called okay now on the similar notes let me say can i call sub demo like this right let's see what happens without any 
arguments. So if I run this, you will see that type error, sub demo missing two required positional arguments x and y. So what this means is that when I have defined this particular function, this particular function will always require the argument and that covers the third point. So basically required argument. So in this function, x and y are the required arguments. I cannot call sub demo without passing any arguments. Now, how can I make it as the optional argument? So if during the function definition, when you are defining the function, we are writing the function, if I assign the default values to the parameters that I'm defining when I'm defining this function. Okay. So for example, X by default, if nothing is provided, I will specify or a default value that, that it will take is five and y will take a default value as four, right? So now this particular function will accept optional arguments. So I can provide arguments or I cannot. So if I do not provide any argument in this particular case, it will take these default arguments that are provided here. So five and four, and it will return me the result. So it will return the difference as one. So in this case, you can see that there is no error in this particular case. I can do the same thing. So I can simply let me simply print this whole thing rather than storing in the variable. Okay, so I'll use this. Now say for example, I want to assign a value. So say for example, I do not want to use default value. So I'll say eight. Can I assign just one value? Yes, you can do it. If I run it, you will see the answer is four. Why? Because the value that you have assigned will go into the position, the first position. So because it's a positional argument, it will go to the X, right? It will override the value, the default value that I have provided in the X. Okay. You can provide both values. All right. Now six will go into Y and eight will go into X. Okay. So the difference will be two or I can provide just one value. Okay. Or I can not provide any value at all. Right. So in all the cases, this will work perfectly fine. So six has gone into X in this particular case, six minus four is two. And then in the third one, there is no argument that I have passed. So optional argument because there are default values when I define this function. So five minus four is one. Okay. In the first case, eight minus six is two, right? So that's what basically the optional arguments are when you're calling these functions, when you're providing these arguments, if there are default values assigned when you define the function, then you can have the optional argument. Now coming to the keyword argument, right? So we have understood about the positional argument, the required arguments and the optional arguments. Now what exactly are the keyword arguments? Now when say for example, I am calling the function, right? So let me call it sub demo and I pass on a certain value. Say for example, 10, right? So if this value is being passed, this by default goes to the first parameter, right? So this goes as first argument and it will go into this particular 10 will go into X and 10 minus four will be six. Okay. So that's what will be printed. Now, say for example, as part of the keyword argument, if I specifically specify that I do not want to go this 10 into X, I want this 10 to go into Y. What I'll do is I'll provide the specific keyword. I'll specify when I'm calling this function, I'll say Y is equal to 10. I'll assign 10 to Y and in this case, it will identify that this 10 is going to the keyword Y, which is basically at this particular position, right? So now in this particular case, answer will be different, right? So it will be minus five because now Y is 10 and 10, uh, basically X minus five. So five minus 10 is minus five, right? So that's what keyword arguments are. So if you want to specify the when you are passing the argument, you want to be specific about the keyword that in the Y, I want to pass certain value, a very specific value. And then in X, I want to pass certain value. Then you can do so by providing the keyword of the 
parameter that has been defined that has been uh, you know declared when you are defining the function right so that's what keyword arguments are so you can see that in this particular case minus 4 has been printed because min uh, 6 minus 10 so x has gone into 6 um, 6 has gone into x 10 has gone into y and 6 minus 10 is minus 4 all right so that's what keyword arguments are so this is all about the parameter and argument difference the first place so very important these are basic things but basic things are very important to understand before you get into the advanced concepts right so understanding difference between parameters and arguments we have covered and then we have covered about the positional argument keyword argument required arguments and optional arguments so that's all for this particular tutorial i hope this was helpful and clear thank you very much for watching